I'm so so happy. I'm so so happy. We have no choice than to be happy for Ghana. If you are a hater, this one will shock you guys. This one will shock you. I mean, it has shocked you already. You have no choice than to be happy for Ghana, guys. This is a big win. We really appreciate the Ghanaian government and Ghanaians for making this happen. The $90 million University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences at Bunsu is a bold step towards addressing Ghana's developmental challenges in advancing STEM education. This transformative project is a testament to the government's commitment to investing in education, fostering innovation, and building a skilled workforce capable of addressing future challenges. Through strategic partnerships with Korea and local stakeholders, the University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences is set to become a beacon of excellence in engineering and agricultural sciences. As the project progresses, it reaffirms Ghana's vision of creating opportunities for students, solving national problems, and securing the country's place as a leader in sustainable development. With completion scheduled within 24 months, within 24 months of its commencement, the University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences promises to be more than just an educational institution. It will be a cornerstone of Ghana's efforts to modernize its economy and enhance food security and drive industrial transformation. This project is not just an investment in education, it is a long-term strategy to ensure the prosperity of present and future generations. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Delfina and I'm very, very happy returning back to you. I'm here with another news, you know, we've been talking about the great achievement the Ghanaian government have been doing, you know, they've been making Africa proud, guys. Let's watch this video together and share our thoughts. Let's watch. This ambitious $90 million University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences project is steadily progressing at Bunso in the eastern region. While not as popularized as certain mega projects are, this $90 million university construction is marking a significant milestone in the country's education sector. Let's discuss and get up to speed on this mega educational development and what it means for Ghana. The $90 million University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences landmark project, funded by the Export-Import Bank of Korea and the Economic Development Corporation Fund, also of the Republic of Korea, is expected to be completed within 24 months, as it started in 2022, hence its completion was to be done by the end of this year, 2024. And once operational, the university will serve as a hub for advancing science, technology, engineering and mathematics, which is STEM education, addressing critical national challenges and driving economic development. And as you already know, STEM educational facilities are already constructed, and adding this critical STEM university adds an icing to the cake, making a complete student body and workforce that understand the practical aspect of everything being taught rather than the theoretical aspects that we are used to today in Ghana. The University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences will become the second public university in the eastern region, complementing the University of Environment and Sustainable Development in Somenya. This institution is envisioned as a transformative force in Ghana's higher education landscape, equipping students with the knowledge and skills to meet future challenges in engineering, agriculture and industrial competitiveness. The sword cutting ceremony, led by President Anadu Dankwa Ikufuadu, underscored the government's commitment to utilizing science and technology as tools for national development. Speaking to a gathering of chiefs, local leaders and residents in Bunso, the president highlighted the importance of science and technology in modern development processes, stating that a country's progress depends on its ability to adapt, produce and commercialize scientific and technological knowledge. President Anadu Dankwa Ekufuadu explained that the establishment of the University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences aligns with Ghana's national goal of fostering innovation and solving present challenges, including food security he added that the university will focus on teaching, research and public engagement in fields critical to Ghana's sustainable development. This institution will contribute to the nation's vision of providing food, shelter, clothing, health and security for all while building wealth to guarantee the prosperity of future generations, the president remarked. In addition to its role in addressing food security, the university will position Ghana as a leader in agricultural sciences, engineering and STEM education. These efforts are part of the government's broader strategy to increase the science to humanities enrollment ratio in tertiary institutions to 60-40, ensuring a highly skilled workforce for science-related jobs in an increasingly competitive global economy. President Nana Dodankwa Ekufuado also highlighted the progress made in expanding access to education, particularly in STEM, and technical and vocational training and training, which is the TVET. He noted that Ghana's gross tertiary enrollment ratio had increased from 18.8% in 2021 to 20% in 2024, reflecting significant strides in tertiary education access. The president celebrated record enrollments in TVET programs 
revealing that 44,000 students were enrolled in senior high school TVET courses this year alone, doubling the figure recorded in 2021. These developments underscores the government's commitment to equipping the next generation with skills needed to address national challenges and thrive in a technological-driven world. The president emphasized the pivotal role of the University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences in this broader educational reform. The university will focus on producing skilled graduates capable of addressing Ghana's challenges in agriculture, industrial development and sustainable practices. The Korean ambassador to Ghana, Lee Jan Tak, praised the initiative and reaffirmed Korea's commitment to supporting Ghana's development. He lauded President Nana Budan Kwai Kufuadu for leveraging education as a key for economic transformation and pledged continuous support in improving infrastructure and boosting the country's development efforts. The Ochen Hene Osadifo Amotia of Uripeni expressed gratitude to the government for selecting Bunsu as the location for this transformative project. He described the initiative as a catalyst for development in the eastern region with far-reaching benefits for communities across the country. The construction of the University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences fulfills a pledge made by President Nana Dodankwa Ekufado during the 2022 State of the Nations Address where he announced plans to transform the Bunsu campus of the University of Engineering and Sustainable Development into an independent institution dedicated to engineering and agricultural sciences. With the construction already underway, the government has reiterated the commitment to meeting the 24-month timeline. Though it looked to have slowly delayed, upon completion, the University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences will feature state-of-the-art facilities designed to support cutting-edge research and innovation in engineering and agriculture. This will not only enhance the quality of higher education in Ghana, but also contribute to addressing national challenges in food security, industrialization and climate resilience. The university's focus on STEM education will also complement the government's vision of creating a more inclusive and skilled workforce. By equipping students with practical skills and knowledge, the University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences aims to produce graduates ready to drive Ghana's industrial transformation and compete in a knowledge-driven global economy. The ongoing construction of the $90 million University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences at Bunsu is a bold step towards addressing Ghana's developmental challenges and advancing STEM education. This transformative project is a testament to the government's commitment to investing in education, fostering innovation, and building a skilled workforce capable of addressing future challenges. Through strategic partnerships with Korea and local stakeholders, the University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences is set to become a beacon of excellence in engineering and agricultural sciences. As the project progresses, it reaffirms Ghana's vision of creating opportunities for students, solving national problems, and securing the country's place as a leader in sustainable development. With completion scheduled within 24 months, within 24 months of its commencement, the University of Engineering and Agricultural Sciences Sciences promises to be more than just an educational institution. It will be a cornerstone of Ghana's efforts to modernize its economy, enhance food security, and drive industrial transformation. This project is not just an investment in education, it is a long-term strategy to ensure the prosperity of present and future generations. The new scheduled timeline would be given once the 24 months timeline elapses, but we are hopeful that this project, even if not completed this year, would be completed by 2025. I don't know why today I came with energy, 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 energy. Gonna keep making Africa proud. <laughs> That's the energy, you know, when you see good things happening in Africa, energy will just come. The strength that will come, you know, is never comprehended. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. I'm so, so happy. We have no choice than to be happy for Ghana. If you are a hater, this one will shock you guys. This one will shock you. I mean, it has shocked you already. You have no choice and to be happy for Ghana, guys. This is a big win. We really appreciate the Ghanaian government and Ghanaians for making this happen, you know, from their educational system, from so many things, guys, so many things. Don't just sit back there and be giving them both bars over here. When we are here, you should appreciate us for, you know, for putting out some things like this for you to see. You guys, I do not know. So your mind will come down to Africa. It's not all African countries that are backsliding. We have african countries like ghana yeah i'm talking about the one i know if i go to rwanda and i see rwanda doing well if i go to ivory coast and i see ivory coast doing well i'm going to bring it out here for you guys to see so keep supporting this channel one love join us and bring us together i love you guys the love is massive guys so keep sharing share this video to as many eyes out there i believe they'll watch and also know the real deal happening in africa i love you guys always bye